and welcome to this episode of the Arctic Dungeon Master. Of course, in the background, you will probably still be hearing the quack quacks as it is still winter and they are still inside. As for when this video will be uploaded and you'll be able to see it, I don't know if it will be in chronological order as I've been filming these videos with the ducks inside the house. Today, I just wanted to uh, show you guys my recent hauls that I've gotten from one of them. I've been waiting a very long time from an online retail store and it has taken about a month and a half to ship to me up in Alaska. Fortunately, none of the items were for a game that I was planning on playing anytime soon. That is the only fortunate thing that I could find a month and a half to be acceptable for shipping. The other stuff, the majority of the stuff, I got from a very new source that I've been getting a lot of cool D&D minis. And that was, of course, going to be Shaboom. I did a video a while back again uh, promoting their um, Odyssey of Theros uh, breaks, the mythic Odyssey of Theros. Uh, they had a DD and d mini break for that and I helped promote that. Since then I have been partaking in their d and breaks and it has been a lot of fun and a great way to get d d minis. Uh, another thing that they do every Tuesday is D&D $2 mini razzes. Basically, you, you're raffling off a chance to win a D&D booster pack. I have not had a chance to win one yet. I, From what I see, it takes uh, getting uh, at least half the spots, and I never get there in time. But it's still cool to partake in the breaks. That at least guarantees me getting something. This here, of course, is one of the booster packs that I got. And it is from the uh, Frost Maiden of Winterdale, or uh, oh, whatever the new line for D&D &D minis is currently right now. Um, and it is just a whole bunch of winter themed animals and um, being an arctic dungeon master I really had to partake in this one uh, as in my duty here you see the owlbear which I was very happy to get and this little gnome mind flayer I cannot wait to use him I have a one shot that will be requiring this dude and he looks awesome so, I'm very happy with what I got in this hole. Money very well spent. And uh, let me just go through. So, this is one of the booster packs. That's uh, Winter Arctic Barbie Barbarian. Goliath Barbarian. Uh, Arctic Owlbear. This guy is probably the cutest I got. Dominion Mind Flare and a Kobold, of course. Another one on my list to get from this booster pack was the Abominable Yeti. I got an Orc Ranger, which will be seeing some action at my next D&D game. I got the Crone, the, uh, the Cold Crone, which, by the way, in case you did not know, that is a $40 figurine right there, and it came to me, unfortunately, broken. Not a bad thing, not a, just a little minor inconvenience. I'll just have to glue the hand back on. Nothing that Crazy Gru cannot fix. Very happy I got the crone, which I, was one of the figurines that I wanted, along with the Yeti. So, so far, I'd been getting three of the minis that I wanted. Super awesome. <clears throat> of course starting to get some bigger animals on the scene which is pretty cool i do enjoy animals and i don't have a lot of animals i even got an arctic fox this little tiny thing 
I love foxes. I love it when they're running around in my yard, but very far away from the chicken coop. Uh, and then this is another night hag, but um, a winter version. A Winterdale version. Totally cool. Totally cool little animals. Another thing I was happy with was I got a little bit more kobolds to add to my collection. And a whole array of winter animals because I want to do a winter diorama. I even got some more goblins. Goblins are cool. <coughs> Another thing that I got uh, from Shaboom was, of course, a dragon. It is Icons of the Realms, Mythic Odyssey of Theros. Boom. Uh, this is, I'm going to totally butcher this, but Paul Karanis, the World Eater. So, just need to open this guy up so we can take a look at him. I'm super excited about this guy because I'm totally using him in the hunt for the Thessal Hydra. Which, if you guys have been watching my videos, that is all to do with the Stranger Things D&D &D campaign that was released a while back. I'm going to use this as a Hydra. It was a Raz that Shaboom had, and I won. They also got another res sometime soon for the Sapphire Dragon. So definitely become a fan of the Shaboom Facebook page. Uh, the, for you guys will know when that goes up. Again, I don't know if that Raz is going to go before or after I Raz this, but just check out the size of this thing. It has five heads. It is. About the same height as my uh, new Yeti. And, oh man. Let's just find a hero really quickly. And there's a hero for scale. If that's not a good enough scale, why don't we just put a halfling? There we go. This guy is pretty, pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to have him in my game. Totally going to throw him down on the ground and be like, yo, guys, he's going to kill you. Fireball. Uh, this is a dragon. Of course, but I'm going to be using it as a Hydra. It all works. And uh, maybe if I play the uh, Mythic Odyssey of Theros, I will totally use this in that campaign as well. <clears throat> Speaking of the hunt for the Thessal Hydra, though, online I saw that I could get a bunch of troglots troglites which i did not know before purchasing that that meant cave dweller so when i bought this booster pack for massive darkness really dirt cheap i thought i was going to get everything for my game now i am totally going to use these guys for my campaign for the hunt for thessal hydra they just won't be your typical troglites, which is cool. I got about 25 of these guys, and they vary. Oh, yep, already got this guy kind of guy. Um, and so 
I got about 25 of these guys. I'm not going to put them all out. But they uh, have various poses. They're kind of cool. And I think they will still work for what I'm doing. I'm not going to be picky. I just want to play the campaign because I'm super excited about it. Uh, one of the cool things, I might be putting this guy out on the battlefield, but I got a Minotaur. And he's pretty bulking, massive. Can't wait to have him. Anyhow, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Have you ever waited a very long time for something to come through the snail mail that you purchased? If so, let me know about it. Was it exciting for you? Or was it disappointing? Let me know that too. I'll be all ears. We can be friends. Alright guys, this is the Arctic Dungeon Master signing out. Please comment below on what you thought of this video or if, again, you've ever had to wait for anything. Let me know if you have played any of these games before. Have you gotten any of these booster packs? What did you think? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the other YouTube jazz. Until next time, guys, good luck.